Hey guys, in the this side from 24 by 7 everything. Hope you all are doing great. We are again back with another video and this time it's on Asus Zenfone Max Pro M1 related to a custom ROM that is Ion OS with the version 2.3.A. So this version was just released 7 days ago. I didn't get a chance to uh, like create a video on this so I thought let's do it now. So let me confirm you few other things related to same. So in this particular version the Android security patch is of 1st January 2020. Uh, then the kernel version is 4.4.208 Stardust and this is a build number that is of 13th of Jan 2020 and so on. So earlier we had already reviewed uh, the version 2.2.b. So this is a next iteration of the SOM, uh, this particular ROM. Again this is the smoothest ROM till now. Uh, somewhat battery drainage uh, but again it's negligible when we are having a very smooth uh, ROM which has been running all the time with the hardly one or two glitches just in a span of 24 to 48 hours and apart to this let me show you AOD so this is always on display again it's working fine so in this particular video we will be covering covering basic like first look and the installation part apart to this numerous quick settings all of uh, and we'll be providing you the dedicated review of all those as well which are working which are not the uh, one another thing is that earlier with the version 2.2.b it was showing Volti and now it is showing at HD so developer has changed some things in these uh, uh, like icon packs as well and apart to this for the users who haven't used Ion OS till now so this is the feature rich set I would say ROM so if you want to play with each and every bit there are bunch of settings and you can play like interface, st status bar, quick setting buttons, navigation lock, lock screen and so on and apart to this every other like all the vital settings are here somewhat it uh, these are overwhelmed as well but all in all good apart to this whenever you will be installing this will be the bare bone structure i hardly installed amazon and one or two more apps so with this particular room they uh, the g cam or i would say the camera which has been shipped is very basic so we will surely be covering g cam 7 in this particular video itself uh, so this is the layout of a, that particular basic uh, structure a part of this recorder it is one of the best recorder because it is a google recorder you can play with it you can record it you can see how much you can do with this and this will surely help you in your day to day work as well now let's jump into the installation part for that i have to boot my phone into the recovery mode so let me do that so finally our phone has been booted to the recovery mode before we jump into the installation part we need to discuss few points so those are already been drafted or I would say created on my official blog. The URL for the same will be provided to you in the description below. So it is basic like how uh, instruction steps and so on. So firstly the ROM developer maintainer, maintainer is Pranav KPR. We are really thankful him to provide us such a wonderful and smooth ROM. Apart to this there are few links for downloading like INOS 2.3a ROM. This particular ROM itself includes GF so there is no need of uh, installing it separately or flashing it separately apart to this magic's version 20.3 if you want to root apart to this as i have told you earlier that we will be showing you google camera so this is a link for the gcam 7 everything is working except slow motion so you can use it and you can provide us uh, like you can provide us your feedback and so on apart to this few prerequisite don't skip this so firstly back up your data then charge your phone's battery at least 50 percent or more but i always recommend to have 80 percent or more Firmware needed is 060 which is the latest one at this moment released by the ASUS. If you are still not on version 060 so we have bunch of options available that how you can do it. Apart to bootloader should be unlocked. Uh, apart to this TWRP custom recovery should be installed. If you are not familiar then we have already provided you reference videos. Apart to this finally the installation of the INOS 2.3a ROM using TWRP recovery. Firstly you should format your data then wipe cache it data Dell weekend system vendor vendor partition is optional a part of this install or flash the iron os after that just reboot the phone although there is no glitch with the restarting process but if you will face like if you have been stuck on the uh, phone setup process more than 10 to 15 minutes then i will surely recommend you to restart your phone afterward last but not least just enjoy the beauty of iron os with android 10 on your beloved handset that is asus zenfone max pro m1 now let's jump into the installation part so according to blog firstly we have to format data for that i am going to tap on wipe after the format data then i'll just type yes just for the confirmation so that it can um, like this will surely enforce it to force uh, like format the data using twrp custom recovery so finally within next two to three seconds it will do its magic and formatting is done now again go back again back 
afterward now you have to wipe four different partition for that you have to tap on advanced wipe afterward just like delvic cache data and system let me repeat it again delvic cache data and system and afterward just swipe to wipe it so again it will take two to three seconds not more than that and it will do its magic in the background again back again back again back until unless you reach the home screen so out of three major steps we have completed two now we are good to go with the installation part so for that we have to tap on install afterward you have to uh, like select storage by default it is selected as micro sd card so okay afterward you have to go to the uh, like folder where, where you have downloaded that particular file so just for my convenience i am using inos 2.3 as a folder and i'm this is the file which you will be downloading just tap it here and afterward swipe to confirm flash so in next one to two seconds it will start the installation process and it will usually take three to five minutes so have so let's wait till then so finally the installation has been completed now we are having two different options one is wipe cache dalvik another is reboot system i always recommend to do this after installing each and every software or i would say utility using twrp so that all the junk files in the background will be deleted or will be wiped or cleaned and so on now we are good to go with the reboot system so now within the next two to three seconds uh, i'm sorry two to three minutes we will be booted into the inos uh, progress screen uh, so we'll wait till then and afterward we'll move with the phone setup process so finally we have booted to the i would say progress screen bar for the inos so within next two to three minutes it will be directly booted into the phone setup process so let's wait till then finally the phone setup process has been started so according to sim it has detected that english india then let's move to next step so here it will ask for mobile data preference so i'm choosing the desired one which i need at my side so you can do the same at your side i can skip this part but it is convenient for the ones who haven't started or who haven't tested the custom roms yet so this will surely benefit them for the advanced user it might be somewhat uh, like time wasting so please uh, think about those users so let me enter the credentials here so that we can proceed with the next step so after entering the wi-fi credential now it is doing the checking for updates in the background this might take time usually it is related to google play services so if there would be any pending update or payload that will surely be installed in this particular step so have some patience and wait till that time we proceed to the next step so now in, on this particular screen it is asking do you want to copy data from the google account or google server that you have already synced for just for the video part i'm just skipping this part because uh, it, again it is upon you so again same thing whenever you are flashing any custom rom uh, it is somewhat like a factory setting or hard reset so in that particular case you should be remind of your uh, or i would say you should remember your previous pin that you have set or any pattern and the google account associated which was last accessed on that particular device so these are the benefit like i would say the most important things so again it is asking for a google sign on at this moment i'm just skipping it but you can do it uh, if you will be moving this part afterward you will see the google assistant which is what i won't be seeing at this moment because i just skipped that google part related thing apart to this fingerprint fingerprint is working absolutely fine on this so we'll surely cover this part in the review video itself at this moment just to cut down time i am skipping the fingerprint sensor related thing so again we are almost completed with the phone setup process and now we are di directly booting to the login screen or i would say home screen so this is a new wall wallpaper like shipped with the 2.3.a version i really liked it it is so wonderful now again let me verify you again the same bare bone structure just from a systems point of view uh, just for the confirmation part again the same first january patch inos 2.3.8 and so on apart to this uh, the same everything is all and all and this is the by default navigation gesture if you want to go back you just have to slide like this but just for your convenience if someone doesn't know uh, you just have to move to system afterward gesture afterward system navigation and you can select your desired one if you are good to go with the gesture then there is no need if you are uh, like more habitual or familiar with two buttons you can select two button three button and so on so in my case i really like two button i also like gesture but two button uh, layout is really very convenient to use in the longer term so apart to this we surely come with the dedicated review part in the coming days 
hope you like this video if you really like this video kindly share this with your friends and family apart from this please subscribe to our channel because this will surely motivate us and boost us to create more videos like this in the coming future finally it's the time to sign off now bye for now thanks